was Liquid playing, even though it didn't. We know that now, but hindsight's great. But yeah, I mean, that was the thought process behind it. Was like, yeah, okay, I'm sure can, there's many soak reasons. this up now, and I know it gives you this like uh, ability to defend towers and maybe yeah. give you some split push and that sort of thing. So maybe they thought it was going to be enough to buy them time for the storm and the meepo, but. I like I just, that they banned the IO. I think that's I actually what caused the majority of the problems. I'm sure, like, Enchantress and everybody, they all popped off, but I think GH just enabled them to be able to snowball so out of control that secret. Yeah, I, I, I just think when you talk about IO and Coddle, the first two bans by secret, I think for those two heroes, for Liquid, those are like tempo shift. They're heroes that they can take either at the beginning or, or even at the end of the draft and change the speed at which their entire lineup plays. Mm -hmm. And from the time that that IO got picked, their team just felt so fast. Ten seconds remaining. Phantom Lancer is a great example of that. PL is not some right. hero that can just be so aggressive until he has a Wisp backing up. Yep. All of a sudden, you no longer have to worry sudden, about yeah. HP. You're constantly throwing lances around. It's I mean, similar. he's chasing people across the map. It's yeah. similar to when, they, I've, when I used to see them pick Sven a lot in the mid lane. And Sven, you're like, oh, this hero's not fast. And then he's godlike by 14. So IO just has him diving towers and running. I remember way back when, when Evil Geniuses would run it with the Tram Protector, all of a sudden yeah. you just become a beatable combination at the start of the game. Wow. Shaker. For sh and this Ooh. is how they opened the, the draft in the final game against Fnatic last night. First pick, Earthshaker. So you probably just get Razor again, right? To guard yourself against Lone Druid. That's how Fnatic responded, and yeah, I, I, I think so. Hero, Razor. Five seconds Why not? Remaining. I just, I, I don't think that you, I don't think teams have figured out, and that's evidenced by the stats that I gave earlier, I don't think teams have figured out how to punish a Razor open. There are, just, there are so few heroes in the pool that, that by themselves feel like they shut Handle the hero, but it's, there's not that one glaring counter pick. Naga and Disruptor are both reaction heroes. That are still... Well, I was thinking they could do something just like Razor Sanking or those lines, because Sanking's left it in this time. I liked Razor, uh, Boss Razor. Razor Rubik. Oh, no. They banned they themselves. They banned it, yeah. Yep. They're just... why, do we, uh, why do we not see so many Razor Viper games anymore? Well, it used to be kind of like the same thing, didn't it? It's it very... Like one cancels out the other? It's not quite, it's not quite as similar as it once was, but it, it's Razor very Nine. hard to pick two heroes that do this. You mean the versus like yeah, Razor and Lunch? Oh, oh yeah, against each other. Yeah. Because uh, I like to compare it to the uh, Ban versus Omni, where okay. uh, one's just a worse version of the hero. Right. Yeah. It wasn't that long ago, was it? They were T Simon. Yeah. Patch it again. Five seconds remaining. I'll go for Liquid. Another hero that teams had a hard time finding in it. Yeah. Team Liquids turn to we were going through, uh, you went with us earlier, Cap, opener. but uh, we were going through uh, win rates. Uh, DK 72%, Razor 78%, Naga 69%, Bane 69 ET 72%. And, All and of those picked more than 13 times. And those are, yeah, just this event. I mean, if you were going through, the, I made a list going through the patch statistics, Elo adjusted. My, my S tier heroes right now are Tiny DK, Terrorblade, Elder Titan, Beastmaster. Kind of like in maybe still have there on the question mark. Razor's there. Um, yeah, I think he's got. I think he's got to be there after I think he's this. He's got to be there I, after last, after Genting as well too. He was, was he was being picked in the first phase a lot in Genting, but his win rate was not nearly as gaudy. Fair. Um, I mean, I, I I think it looked like after Genting, teams knew how to handle him, but not here. So secret, they do the the liquid oh, the liquid yeah. response to the first opener with Razor. Take a TB in your stuff, so you can actually have a hero that deals with that hero. Disruptor, Naga on Liquid, and Liquid. Do you, as secret, do you as Secret take out the thing? Turn to ban. That's the question to me. I think Liquid is... I mean, I'm going to say it again. Like, I think they're just making Fada have this miserable game. Look at those bans. And they do take out the thing. And Liquid, they're bans. So they ban out the Nature's Prophet and the Batrider. The two offlane heroes that can actually do something versus Razor. So now it puts Fada on the back foot. What is Fada going to play? Be able to actually have a game versus. Yeah, I think the I think the Nature's Profit ban in particular is just a great read. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. The Batrider ban also free up to do something a little unusual, like a life stealer. 
Oh, no, no. No, neither team wants life. <laughs> that hero is just so, versus so TB susceptible to versus yeah, Razor, both of them counters. just, yeah. So they get the the, the, okay. the disruptors banned. So I was Jukiro gonna say Chikiro too. That yeah. hero's dope with Naga Siren, and I yes. think it works really well against the, yeah. the um. The DK still up. Ten seconds. Remaining. I like DK a lot for Liquid. I like. Always Five like. Five seconds remaining. But then in turn, like uh. C Oh, I guess you can't do Ursa. I think Seeker could take DK as himself too. And... You like what, Alan? I like DK for Seeker right here. You guys yeah. were talking about it for Liquid, right? Yeah, we were talking yeah, about it for Liquid. I, 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 I like it for Seeker right here, just because it... Uh, okay, well, then, look. We talked okay. about the big adjustment for Secret. pay more attention to the lane. This is the support that pays more attention to the lane. It's going to shore up at least one of your three lanes, guaranteed. Doesn't stop people from running at you. Liquid's lane up is pretty run at you. So. Five seconds remaining. Yes, it shares up lanes, but... Give it a switcheroo, go to our copter instead of DK now. I have not seen now. Lich in... Have we even seen a Lich this tournament? We definitely have definitely not seen not. it this tournament. I don't know how many times we've even seen it this patch. Yeah, it is the second. Uh, of this yeah. tournament. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Lich has not been picked in Pro Dota 2, Pro Dota 2 in 7.09. Mm -hmm. 107 drafts so far. I think this is also another. This could be another deny pick here. Liquid taking the Enchantress. This could. Is, uh, my controls. Or, yeah. There's my controls hero now. If if Fado did want to run that one, now they can't. And that's one of the other heroes that you can actually play versus Razor and Elena. And you can just go ahead and keep grabbing. They've already got so much. Magic damage now, pure damage. I feel like the Lich is... And Enchantress dispels as well, so we can dispel that Lich. I yeah. think Kuro just got mad after losing to Vichy the other day. These drafts have just... Well, <laughs> the Ursa is better now because of the Enchantress, but it's yeah. still not great for Naga and Razor. Where do, these, where do these heroes go for Liquid? Because there is a little bit of flexing. Okay, so again, it, same principle here as against the Terror Blade. The Pugna could threaten the, the inch burst damage alone. Uh, lanes, I'd say Liquid. I think the Razor's still flexible, but I think the other, the other three, we kind of know, right? Yeah. yeah, which is going to be Kuroki, Jakiro, more yeah. than likely, unless bizarre stuff happens. GH, Naga, yeah. Control. And now, what we don't know is, do you think they're going to go full on aggro try? Five seconds remaining. Because I think they, I, I think this is a fearsome aggressive try. I think you've got it just as easily dual lane. You've got a lot of options Naga. versus Shaker Lich. They don't contribute a whole lot in the laning phase. Yeah, one's a yeah. one's a walking fissure. The other one just kind of denies waves and pulls it back. You can get really greedy and and try and win two out of three. Fair enough. No, I think that I, I think that's a really key point that you guys just made. Lich and Urshaker, they can. They, they can be Ursa. okay, but they they do one thing. They're not flexible in their laning potential. They take out the Ursa anyway. Great versus the Enchantress. It's one of those heroes that you can burst the Razor. Pugna kind of guards against Ten seconds Oker, yep. which I think were Possibles. potential yep. aspects yep. for me. Seconds remaining. How does the morph look? I haven't seen that. Well, we've well, seen it a couple of times against easy. TBs, yeah. Yeah, and, it's, and it's, TBs. Worked, it's worked very well. Okay. And it's a popular Miracle Hero recently, it, too. To me, Morphling is a hero that it's you cool take idea. when you're really confident that your lanes are locked down. And mm -hmm. I, think that that, I think that that is true right here. So it's, it's definitely got to be on the table. Secrets turn to pick. Ben, okay. yeah, what, uh... They want some Shadow Fiend. SF, are, are they even setting up for an... Ten seconds remaining. I don't want them to pick Invoker Tower, no, but together they get run out of lane. Five yeah. Seconds remaining. Team Liquids turn. Yeah. To pick what? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well. 
We'll go, uh, we'll go Lena then. All in burst damage, guys. Yeah. Yeah, Pugna that's, Lena. Uh, they're trying to actually be able to deal with this Razor, so they don't have any. That's the first time Lena at this event as well. Yep. We've had four brand new heroes in two games. And I'm sure this hmm. is a core Lena. Yes. I'm certain. Okay. I... Has to be with that Shaker. Yeah, yeah, they need a magic damage yes. shielding core. Yeah. I thought they were going to go gyro in like mid DB or well, something. Well, and but... it's the same principle as the Ursa, right? The fiery soul stacks give you the attack speed. The, uh, shift through the Enchantress. So, a miracle hero. Or liquid. <laughs> I think you can be you want. They take the genre? Yeah, that's what I was just saying. It's like it's in his top five, and it's just kind of a, a safe round out your lineup kind of hero. I would like. I guess you could take. Some. They take. The All right. Range. Okay. A little bit yeah. more standard. BKB course. Wow. Versus uh, Lena Pugna. Course. Pugna's going to be that off lane. Lena's going to be mid. Very classic matchup. This particular one. So, draft done. Uh, Alan, we'll start with you. I don't want to make the same mistake I made the first time. Um, I think there's definitely potential here if Secret gets off to a really good start in the laning phase. Uh, they've got just a lot of burst damage. They're going to be able to bring down these heroes, but I just think Liquid have the lanes so well constructed. I'm going to go Liquid. Okay. I think I'm getting a 1-1 getting a one -one vibe from the middle of the desk. So Wait, you thought that, I was, was just going to go was the was opposite one, one, of Alan? One, one, I thought you were doing 1-1. One, one. No, 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 no. Okay, all right. I was going Which liquid. way? Liquid? All right. I'm going liquid as well. They've got a more normal no, normal draft. The secrets is a very normal draft. A standard secrets is very, liquid draft. Secrets is very unordinary. We've got a Lich and Le Lena. They've got, a do no they've got two do-nothing supports. Ooh. You're on the do-nothing train today. Do you nothing. Are. He's on the do-nothing train. Two men that aren't on the do-nothing train are in the caster room right now waiting to bring you game number two. Is this going to be the fastest payday of your careers? I I don't care about the payday. <laughs> I, I care about actually doing something. I want to cast a really fantastic well, you've, series. You've so. got a Lich Lena. Yeah, yeah I, I'm more excited about the Pug the Lena right, at least okay. on that front, because right. at least it gets some, like, some amplified burst damage of some sort. But yeah, Blitz, what do you think? Like, the, the panel all seem to be swinging the way of Team Liquid. Better execution, very solid draft. Everything looks great. Team Secret. What is that? Let's go secret, dude. Let, let's secret. Yeah. I think TB is very good against Shadow Fiend. Go against the green. I, I I I I feel like I was just forced into that just so a ride or die. But I I I go with me, Toby. I'm I'm not feeling the same type of confidence that Why? you seem to be. When have I when? Toby, I've what, been... When have you ever led me wrong? Yeah. I see, see, ever since I doubted MVP, I, I have a hard time ever doubting you. Oh, that was but a, this But this time, that you, was gave, a glorious you gave a story. You gave, you gave, <laughs> can I, I, am I allowed to tell that? Yeah, you can tell that. Okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. I learned a good lesson it, from yeah, this story. I, you know, I like that you're so you're so calm. Because if you were embarrassed about it, that means like you didn't learn from it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. like we all have those moments in life where we say something stupid and It'll come back to bite you, but as long as you're okay with it. Yeah, so, I'm, I'm fine. Tell a story, Blitz. It Tell a like, story. It was before TI, was it TI4 or something like that? And we're about to cast like MVP versus VP or something like that. And Toby says, yeah, MVP is going to get stomped us, whatever. And I told Toby, I was like, yo, they've been actually doing pretty well. Like, they apparently beat DK in some scrims. And it was good. And Toby's like, that's a bald face lie. There's no way that they did that. This is going to be really quick. Let's. Why are they even here? They need to just like this. Just need to. We need to get this over with. There's a waste of time. And then MVP stomped VP. Yeah. So hard. They did. It was glorious. But he was like Toby. Toby took it on the chain. He yeah. It was like I was wrong. Damn. It was. It was actually great timing for me too, because that was around the same time as I was just like, man, I already know the results is going to come yeah. from all of this. And it. It, it just. It, it checks yourself before you wreck yourself. Yes. Like that's. That's what it does. Like you just. Like, you know what? I'm not going to believe that this team is going to win just because yes. they've gone for the standard draft, a really fantastic lane. Like, anything is possible. Mid one, fantastic mid player. 
I actually like having Yampsol. Like, Cap was saying a do-nothing hero? Bullshit. You've got an ES that can rotate around the lane. Of course, Bada, this is not so nice for him. This oh, is just all out of attacks. Yeah, he's, he's like, to Crepify, I can at least oh, do some he? weight. He's actually salving through this. Yampsol doesn't have mana for the Fissure right now. The GH is pretty low, and Fada just to Crepify salved liquids gank away. That is why you save your skill point. Yep. Very well done. But yeah, it's like, every time we have those moments, Dota, where we think that the narrative is just, you know, one team is, ah, uh, this team's garbage, good, yep. Fnatic's bad, Secret's the best, no reason to play this game, but it never works out like that, which is why yep. it's such a beautiful, and very nice save from, uh, of there. It's actually kind of hilarious too, when you, when you think about it with, like, like where Secret is now, after yesterday, you talk about Fnatic, like, yeah, Secret's the best, Fnatic's gonna lose. And then Secret find themselves after a crushing game one staring down the barrel of elimination when you're like, maybe Fnatic, no one was thinking that they would claim points from this competition. In fact, maybe you're thinking Maneska. It's just like, yeah. you know what? Gross generalization out the window. No one can think this. Great. Then everyone else is. Feels like a really nice era. Everyone is. Maneski almost beat Liquid at Starletter. They had very good games again. Now they get just bounced like that. It's coming from every region as well. Yeah, like, like well, we're not just locked in and saying, oh, it's the, it's the Chinese power. Like, it's a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. Even NA is kind of representing. True. It wasn't a, <laughs> on the first day, but. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, optic and complexity, definitely. Uh, Dude, EG lost too. Like, <laughs> yeah, and, and EG. <laughs> but it's, it's getting better. Hey, EG turned it around today, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. turned it on the last few days. Spirit. Yeah. Go. America! I want one from every region. That's what we need. Game so far, uh, much better laning phase. Yeah. So far from... Well, there seems to be a lot more stable on the bot lane, at least. Uh, the fact you've got the Lich as well as the Terra Blade, this is almost ensuring Terra Blade's having a start. And the Enchantress, Mind Control is still getting a deep banana this lane. It's not like he's gonna die. Um, but at least it's making it so that it's not like Liquid win all three lanes and win minutes. And how's mid, like mid one, 14 2 against the 11 1. Miracle's starting to build up a couple more souls now, so it'll be a little bit more mid one. But how do you actually feel about this matchup? SF versus Lena? It's it's a thing of the past, but how does it work in the present? Uh, Ooh, that ice thought. path. Ah, it's snared. Not the greatest chain, though. But. Uh, top lane, but top of it, locked in a corner. Yapsaw's got the bonus damage, Fada, because he's a little bit more, and Yapsaw will spill the first blood up on the top lane. Talking about Toby. And he's he's actually really close to his arcane boots. Like, this do nothing support has just done something. Do nothing support. Analyst said 3 0. To like, Toby, we were, <laughs> come on, man. I told you, ride or die with me. I'm riding, bro. I'm riding. Let's go. I, I just want a good game, so I don't care if I'm going to make a deal with the devil in order to enjoy that. But sure, let's do it. Former join Dota or Unite. <laughs> but we're shitting on Cat, but I'm not helping him. Um, <laughs> Bada, Static Link, but Tumberman's going to do some good work here as Kuro. Waiting for the Ice Path. They don't connect. Yapsaw just needs to buy some time, but Tumberman's still on 112 points of damage to Crepify and TP out again. Was it was it Nahar saying like, what's the counter to the Razor? Like the first phase Razor. How do you counter him doing damage? The Crepify seems to be doing a pretty damn good job right now. And so far in this tournament, counter to deep pressure him very heavily, so that he never gets attempt at all. This hero, when you let him get online, Toby looks like the best hero in Dota. But when you don't let him get online, deal with him, you slow him down so much, then he doesn't really provide anything in the way of team fight. That's how teams would be bar made him look very average this game they've secured him a very good start yeah. not the kind of enchantress game that the mind control had last game where he was able to dominate this one much more active as up top up a lot of harasses yapsor already has arcane boost it out yeah he uh, got the boost to start with this is always that sacrifice the puppy makes in the lane mid lane mid one dp support coming nice in that live strike array stopping miracle from getting that level three raise combination to mid one which would have ensured death that would have 100% killed him. That's done there. But really good presence of mind to not just try to walk away. Metubberman's going again on Fada. This time he decrepifies Metubberman. You know what this actually, like, remember when, um, it was Pug, no, four positions that were, that were rotating around. It was just used for his decrepify. 
just amplify up for all the magical burst damage there. But even the combination with things like with like Fissure, when Laguna Blade is going to be available, Fata's early rotations can really enable Team Secret to do a lot of damage. Heroes like Enchantress, who went four points up in uh, um, four points up in Untouchable in the last game, doesn't seem to be as effective this game. This game, they can't. They just can't really abuse anything. They're not really trying to fight him at all. Gh. Static link. Break. Yeah, he he was right on the edge, max range. This is why Pugna is such a good side laner. He's so fast. Boost speed just makes it so that it's very hard to gank or get on top of him. Former teammates. I love this dire Duel. observer ward up on top as well. Like he backed up the second he sees Kuro walk underneath it, and is so far up that it's unlikely he'll ever get deep water. The fissure combinations, the blast, Matumaman, down to 270 again. Having to get shared tango sustain. Oh, my but hey! <gasps> when one comes in to get the uh, the kill secure with his Laguna Blade. That was distant. At the last second you saw, he's like, I have regrets. And he tried turning the face into the spear because I think he realized at the last second that was going to heal enough, but very sudden kill. And at least mid one got the return, but a much more controlled game this time around. This is what they look like when they actually get to play Dota as Miracle. He's going to have to dodge a yeah. stun. He's copying a lot of damage. Now he's going to cop it. The Frost Blast was already committed, so we didn't have the movement speed to try and dodge. So now mid one, not only does he kill off the bottom lane Enchantress, which he gets solo experience for as well, he now gets the shared experience for the death of the SF. And this is why it was... It, that was more of an outdraft than an outplay in the last game. Secret were... I mean, they looked bad because they just got outdrafted. Their heroes can do anything this time around. It feels like their two supports have a game. They can go around the map killing the enemy, uh, the enemy side lanes. They can kill yep. mid. They have options. Whereas in the last game, it felt like no matter what they did, they weren't going to get anything done this time around. They actually have place to make as mid. Puppy goes down. Yeah, problematic for him, but mid ones gets the rebuttal. Laguna Blade, nice low cooldown. Mid one hits the Light Strike Array. The Creep Wave is currently taking up the town. Mid one so low, the Razors will connect. Miracle will get the kill. He had one charges up his sleeve. So a little bit more life to play with the mid one. He really needed that tower to help him. And the cancel TP from Puppy. He was TPing to the tier one tower. Now he can't even get back to defend. We also have a little bit of a lane rotation as Fata is now on bottom lane. Trying to do something about mind control. And they're giving space for Yap sort of get the blink dagger. They're investing into their support now, team. Very much like uh, this mid duel, though, going on. First mid one outplays Fada. Miracle, and then Does... the other. Th I think they're looking to go again. Fada's pretty low. They have to actually go for that stun from Yap Sword, but with Kuro hovering around. Fada can back up. There's no shrine available, however. Enough gonna go for a bottle. Very rarely do we to have exited the better for them. The heavy spam of the Lena. The one. Uh, you come out. How else do you find this? You prep a five blast. Fisher doesn't hold my control in long enough for the train to really do enough work from Fada. This time around though, they have magic first. Something they sorely lacked in the last game. What are you supposed to do against? That hero otherwise is a early jungle. This time when he was early jungling, the other core on his team also had to jungle. And Fada had one of the worst matchups in Pit Lord versus Razor. This time around, people can actually lane on his team as Kuro. Oh, that's nice. There's that combination from Team Secret. Crepify, Fissure, Blast, plus the Life Drain. And they're doing all of this underneath the Tier 1 tower. So they're looking for the push. Fada, however, I don't know if he's ready to battle against Mind Control, or maybe he is. To Crepify Blast, the Fissure comes in. Light Strike Array, mid one. They're at the right time, but they still have to battle through both the Sprites and the four points up in Untouchable. Making life difficult as Puppy brings in a quick pause. Oh, a little spike. Kuro did TP himself in. Two points dual breath, two points ice path. Maybe enough to cause some problems for Fada. That bottom gank. Mid one's first with. Back into the fight now. Game. Now they're gonna go for the turn of mind control. Running at three heroes, this is strength of the enchantress, of course. Mid one doesn't have enough mana to really continue to fight this. Still got another 54 seconds before the shrine's gonna be up to get back there. GH starts his rotate over. 
Earthshaker. Ready at a K. Much better game than. Although, the game slowing down and Miracle able to raise things out and power. It's gonna be Liquid. Very. ever so slight gold. I do like the fact they're trying to watch the, the comeback mechanic. So the Observe Force that we're playing. Got a flight out because GH got scouted by Ace. Talked by the Naga. And... But now, goes to a safer place. Double Ancient, farm that up to grab a five Blast Fissure. Keep the blasting coming the way of Mind Control. Got Raindrops to try and protect him from this, but there's double Arcane for the this dual offlane. Never ending spam. And Puppy can keep this top lane held back as well with the Sacrifice. Just sitting down here, kill each other as SF does have his ult. Hang out, he is under vision of this. Try to go first, I'll play his escape. Top lane dive not gonna work. The H still only level 4, so it doesn't have that song of the siren to do the cancel TPs. Pelican's actually deep being through the top lane. Now the dive has failed. Bring in the Pugna. And SF, he found his target. He found mid one. Winds up right on top. The damage is way too much. No one charge is available for the leaner either, so there's no burst life to come his way. Huge solo kill for Miracle. DP support goes to the top lane now, so Yaps are on Fada, almost holding hand. They head to the top lane. That was a huge kill though. As Alina, you can't really lose moment to Shadow Fiend, because the Shadow Fiend the best heroes in the game right now. Continuously double nuke waves out, force the wave in, you force Lina to come back, and while you're doing that, the Shadow Fiend is hitting ancient creeps, so he's getting double on the map that game. So all of those individual kills are gonna make a huge difference, especially in XP too. As reflected in the net worth, which we'll put on the screen right now, 5.3k for the SF, compared to the 4.2k of the Lina. This Top lane, they're draining again, this time onto GH. GH has the move for speed to escape. Frankel boost to heal back up again. This was more along the lines of what we expected, though. Game one between Titan and Dota 2 as one. I beat it up with Ace. Gotta be careful how close they get. They're gonna come and beat the fresh observe wall that's been planted down by Team Liquid. They're pushing with Mind Control, stolen catapult. You know Poppy wants to slow this down, so they go for the blast onto Mind Control. Sprites up pretty quickly. Should go. There's a, there's a double damage rune on Miracle. I don't know if they. I was gonna suggest MT. But. Killable. At least for the. Correct me if I'm wrong. Health? Uh, Terrorblade. Health and a ring. I like it. Try and change it up, and he just needed the life for now. That. Uh, Dapso is TPing out. They're trying to head towards bottom lane. As far as Radiant Vision, they don't seem. Hey, Dapso. Yeah, oh, they're going to run in the east. Yeah, they're right underneath the tower. Ace is there. Frost uh, actually ice pathed up. The Macropy well off target. The blast into mind control. Not enough damage, and Shadow Fiend does just TP back out again. But this ward space, but Toberman's pressuring the top tier one tower. He will for himself. Up. And also allows him to get on top of that Pugna. Trap, air, top of him, him off. Puppy gonna finally get rid of that Observer Ward. Three orbs in a sentry come. So, Team Secret have to start establishing map. Map control, map vision at least. Secret really want to take this mid tower with this Pugna. Mid, Vada. Yeah, that's problematic. Needs the drain for life, won't happen. Miracle gets the kill. Very nice distance management on the raises as now Liquid. Just trying to build up this gold lead little by little, Toby. A second ago it was barely 500 gold and now it's 3k. Spice coming up, gold and experience. Seeker just a couple of bad things going their way. They've still got more in their course than they had in the last game, so that's an upside. But 2.7k is the value for the SF, the Terra Blade. Still building up on the items, and uh, he's actually got a Yule Scepter coming out for mid one right now. So, this is a nice increase, at least for mid one, to get better initiations off by himself. 
never discount the TV matchup though. When you're playing SF, you eventually do have to try to go high ground. Terrible just hits reflection, he steals your aura, your armor, it makes it really get to a straight up fight. TV wrecks you in those. Maybe that's also why they were focusing on Yamso getting his blink dagger. They need that jump initiation and not this. They're currently working. Kuro is coming up, Sentry Ward down, right on top of that Dire Observe Ward, however, Yule Scepter into the air, Life Strike Array will connect, and damn, four points up into Crepify, that's a lot of amplification. Goodbye. Curl got straight up evaporated. They needed something like that though, it had long been... ...kill as Puppy up at the top. Oh man, he's got the Yule Scepter though! <laughs> oh, the early Yule's Metumpaman interrupts Puppy. Good luck, Puppy. He did not Goodbye, see that puppy. coming. Atsu having a very good series so far. Such a, one, such a wonderful cheap item as well for the Razor. He's not the first one to go. Actually, was he Was he the one to do it two days ago? Uh, I'm there, not certain. There was, their side. I'm fairly certain it was him that actually played the Razor with the early Yule Scepter, and it was it was around this time as well. It's just like gank after gank after gank. I'll see that or, or uh, SEC. Think about it too, though. It's a nice item on Razor this game because his team lacks a lot of natural dis You don't. I don't think in this game SF the game. Puts you in a position where you set up for the Jakiro Ice Path, which is one of the best spells of dealing with the Terrorblade, by the way. Really like Jakiro versus Terrorblade. Even when you Manta Split, you can somehow end up caught in the Ice Path. Time it right as Jakiro, you can do it right as he's trying to Sunder. You, 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 were, you were kind of weirded out by, uh, by are you happy when the PL didn't buy Battle Fury, but now Terrorblade's gonna go for a Battle Fury? Okay. Draw Ring of Reed. Had it in his. Well, I think he. And hot a little bit. He wasn't certain where to do. The Battle Fury really worth it when most of your damage during the twice is going to be in from Metamorphosis. Like, it, it definitely means you're never going to be popping. Like, like, what's the farm rate? Like, the increase in farm rate, pushback, is that then worth it? Are scanning. Uh, maybe he's. The thought. The thought. I, I was joking about it with Fog yesterday, talking about the the old days when range heroes would buy Battle Fury just because it was really good damage. And... It's not the old days. Roshan's just beginning, but at the same time, 18 minutes in, Blink Dagger just got purchased up by Yapsol. The Courier's not bringing it out yet, and Team Liquid, they're just sitting in Roshan, bringing him down bit by bit. Maybe, I don't know. I could get a hood, but I think I need to scale a little bit. Puppy's coming over. It's gonna be a little bit too late. All the Naga illusions are on the way. Roshan's too low. Secret in any kind of position to fight this. And even a defensive song of the siren from GH. This is multiple layers of protection for Team Liquid. This should be the tower or the Roshan. Radiance middle tower. All the tier twos. Point I want to make too, like you're in these kinds of games and you have this much map control, you wanna to try to take the Roshans as fast as possible. Especially when you think might outscale you. You want to make sure, Toby, that you get through things quickly because yep. you want the set. It's never the first Roshan that ends the game up. The enemy team messes up. It's going to be the second one. So inherently, you want the Aegis to start going on cooldown like as fast as possible. You want to get the next Roshan number two with the cheese going so that you can attempt high ground. Is this smoke gank up on top going to work? Yapsol still has the blink, da the blink dagger. The top of it, there goes the fissure. It's only on the creep wave, decrepifying onto the enchantress. More help is coming in now. Do you remember GH does not have that ultimate available as Miracle stunned up the Crippifying Blast down to one third of his HP. Yamsor is still hiding in the trees and he'll blink himself away from mind control. This is buying space for Ace to attack the T1 tower on bottom. Fortification will slow him up. Fortification is available for the Dying side as well if they do want to buy a little bit more time. Are they going to do so? Oh, they use their fort. Liquid might this and attempt to at least poke. They've got two levels of liquid fire, but no, the gauge instead. They're TPing the bottom lane. The Illusion's trying to kill off the bottom lane, and Kuro actually denies the bottom tower by ice pathing the Illusion. For Secret, the game plan is simple. Hold the high ground, force liquid into positions, be in where they're pushed. Moves, but fine right now. They're I might really control. Comfortable. 
Mid one can Yule Scepter and initiate on this one. Line Striker ready to follow up. Support's coming in from Poppy, but more stuff. Andros gets the distance and now has the completed Hood of Defiance on her. Secret, keep moving Liquid around the map. Let Ace shove out all the lane flame like you would a Tinker. Yeah. Allow him to get the heavy district farm. You got a pretty he good needs. gang squad. Like a Dagon just got purchased up by Fada too. Yeah. You need to get these individual pickoffs and just disappear. Guerrilla warfare tactic. It's getting into a straight five on five engage will not go well for you unless they happen to get a really nice echo slam. But relying on that is a little bit rough here. And Ace. I think the upside of the battle fury is it allows you to farm without the use of meta very quickly. It allows you to spam out the elute too, high amount of mana. But the downside is it's not a fighting item. He needs time more than anything. The uh, team Liquid, we know how they play this. They play it. They play it hard and fast. But 21 minutes in, the tier three towers are still up. Which is better than we've had for most of the other series today. As Aegis. Liquid group up in mid. The down, the downside of the Aegis there is any is that it does make your team go for a five man because you don't want to blow any sort of. Allow Secret to push in the bottom lane. They're actually doing a decent push. A little bit of life taken off the tier 2 tower. Team Liquid. Still thinking about going high ground. Now, Yapsor is, is baiting this. Like, they want to try and fight it out. Mid one starts his TP back now because they need some clearance beyond that of Frost Blast and Nether. It's easy, though. I don't think go for this. There's Frost Armor on all the towers. All of their uh, ways are going to come down. And the longer that you delay this, it allows the TP to slowly catch up. During this entire time you're five man, Terrorblade is gaining advantages that It's been farming the jungle the entire time. DH is sending illusions into the jungle to try and get a little bit of a reading on what Ace is up to, but he's in the rating in jungle. You notice that Miracle's backed out for this? Guys. Five heroes sharing one they're not pressuring anywhere else on the map. In this situation as a TV you want the enemy to five man because it it relieves all the pressure. You know where everybody's going at all times. DH has come to defend the bottom lane. Yabsor knows this, blinks deeper, and then TPs away to safety. But this is a good uh, indication as well for Ace. So they forced, they added enough pressure on the bottom lane that has forced the rotation from south. Now, Team Secret can potentially make a play and come out of their base because the pressure is no longer on the tier 3 town. Their moves are harder to read. Stronger and Aegis. Uh... And, uh... Nope. Uh, three thirty until Roshan can read. Radiant are scanning. Miracles almost got that BKB. Seven hundred gold away from. Lee. So we talked about how first Roshan, second one, try to attempt to go high ground. Liquid right now are trying to corral Secret back into their base during this time. Trying to make it so that the TB has to do plays like this where he feels uncomfortable, he's got to be the map. So when you just go top as five, it opens up the map so much for... I like how, how cheeky both TB as well as uh, Lena one's playing. Like they're TPing up now, they have a dire observe wards, they see Kuro, the observer and sentry from Liquid. A little bit further to the side, and okay, the pings are coming out from DH. It's like, okay, guys, they, they definitely see us. Sentry wards down, observer wards deep warded, and this will pretty much ensure that tier 2 tower in the bottom lane will fall. Look at Ace, though. Yep, instantly up to the top. Uh, this is a. I have to. I have to do so much work in this game, so I just have to power farm, hope for the best. Hope my team doesn't get killed. That's the big thing, is giving up towers is whatever at this point. It's losing any of your high ground defense heroes outside the base, potentially just end the game. Yeah. He's not quite in fighting shape yet. Do you, do you like uh, Butter's like, going up higher levels up in the Dagon? Like, is Dagon level 1 normally where you sit and then you look for other items? Yeah. Dagon's a sick high ground item. You force somebody into a, a situation where they're just in half HP. Imagine this scenario, you're, an, you're a Shadow Fiend, you don't want to pop your BKB. You go high ground, you get Decrept Dagon in half a second, you're at half health now. Yep. Now you're in a wonky position where you don't really want to continue, but you also don't want to be forced, especially in teamfights, to just preemptively BKB. Pugna's such a fast hero that it's very low risk for him to Especially with the Aetherland, you can do it from really good distance. They had 10 second BKBs as well. That's uh, a lot to burn for just a little bit of harassment from Pugna. 
you got to give so much props to Team Secret. Like, yeah, okay, we look we look at the next Roshan as the one where Team Liquid will try and push up high ground and take a tier 3 tower. But Terrorblade, he's gotten so much space, has more net worth than the Razor now. Still behind there, the SF, but Battle Fury, SMY, going into BKB. So Ace understands next time the fight is going to be soon. Mid one has been so aggressive pushing out these side lanes. The, t the tier one tier towers on the opposite side of the map are always under siege. That's what he's trying to take out now, but here comes Liquid. So Aegis Immortal is gone, but the BKPs are up. Team Secret here to defend. There's your Decrepify up and running. Media Hammer spam from GH onto the towers and Fortification burnt by Team Secret. But they're taking the top tier one tower. Money is still injecting into the defense team. And they're getting more across the map. Like, look at the experience graph. They're going the opposite direction. Yes. Goal goes up, experience goes down. But okay. this is because Liquid are going for the objective base. They're going for this high ground. This needs to work for them. You saw Matu? He just got Dega. Oh, I don't want to go high ground anymore, guys. <laughs> and this is the downside also of constantly 5 manning is when you constantly 5 man like this, you're in a position where you're just splitting one lane of XP at all times. That means somebody from Secret, the ace in a game like this, getting solo XP from higher waves, jungle camps, and oh. your team is still splitting it between four heroes. That fissure from Yapsaw is nice. The Nether Ward's being committed down, so the tier 3 tower under attack. Remember, there's no fortification. So Ace has managed to take the tower. He's metamorphosed up, and he's about to reach the tier 3 tower on the top yep, lane. Glitch ulti. It's flying out now. Most must be soaked up by the illusions, bouncing down towards Miracle. Yo, but this tier 3 tower up on top lane is being assaulted. They're just holding the defense line. Kura can get the best ice pass in the world, but here they go. The Tom and TP's out. Where's the cancels? The Song of the Siren is trying to actually hold them at bay as Matumbleman has come back to the defense duty, and they want to keep going for more. The Yule Scepter, Essa, comes down. The BKB instantly up. So Farda will take a fall for this, but you've still got Echo Slam. You've still got they Range tower. Band, and TP has taken the Tier 3 tower. Oh. He's going for the melee the racks. Canceled. They're all coming back, but the TP cancelling. Now it's Miracle. He'll have to stand his ground and fight. TP still wants this top lane. The it Echo, won't happen. They have to kill this is gone. There goes the Laguna Blade. The Miracle solo. The Dangle from Farda. It does not work. It's worth it. The Fissure controlling the Naga Siren, giving Mid one more time to hit into him. Puppy is here as well. He bought back to be involved in this. They want mind control. So the top lane of Frags heavily damaged, but the casualties of war is Team Liquid cancelled their TPs, and now Team Secret will get yet another kill on this bottom lane. They hold their own tier 3 tower barely. That is such a big win for Secret right there. That's going to extend the game even further. Now the gold lead is cut down to 3k. TB and Alina now are second and third when it comes to net worth. And that's what I'm talking about. That's why we wanted them to go for the Roshan instead, because it's a safer play. By forcing this do-or-die situation, this is exactly what Secret wants. Yep. Play these 4v5 situations, allow Ace to continue to climb. After they take this tier 1 tower, actually, do they even do that? You just found yourself a double damage room for oh, the Alina. I like Lina. this move a lot. This Roshan is now really, really good for them. This would be massive for Ace to get. This is the Aegis and Cheese, remember? And yep. we talked about how the SF not very good against the TP. Naga Illusions are coming. They're going to scout this one out. It's going to take time for Team Liquid to get there. They've still got the Shrine to TP out to, and that's exactly where they're going. SF coming quickly. Roshan down to 1k. There's your Media Hammer. He's buying got Blink some Dagger. time, and there's your Blink Dagger. He jumps he in, he's trying to get the Aegis. GH. He'll Does jump he have it? Up. He snatches the Aegis Immortal. He got Roshan, but didn't get the Aegis. Macro Pyro 9th pass from Kuro. He's absolutely sublime, but not enough damage. It's Ace switches the life points with Kuro. Fada, a little bit in trouble. He'll burn the cheese to Crepify Dagon Blast. Can't get the ever everything off. Needs to drain out some life. Cannot do so. Mind control. Now he's hunting for the kills. Fada is down for over a minute. Yapsaw waits in the tree line. Puppy still here, posturing forward. Ace thinks about finding Metamorphosis is available for him. So we can do so if they can just get the stun. Mid one's looking for That's a four man. man. Four man Vinja. Miracle pops up the BKB, but the amount of damage, the physical from Ace is just too high. He has to run away and leave Mind Control for dead. Two heroes dead for so long. 42 seconds on the Shakiro, 50 seconds over on the Enchantress. The top lane is defended by mid one. It was pushing in a fair chunk of the way. The team secret, these fights are looking so good for them. Even if they didn't get Roshan, they got everything else from it. Team fight was so sick from there right there. Four man fissure that leads into that. Now they're starting to get some control of the map. They finally nabbed that tier one tower in mid. Crucial one for them to get. They might even continue to go off of that. As Metamorphs Ace. has got some time on it, so sure, why not? He's got a BKB too. He's gone for a pure fighting build. No split push, no Manta. 
farm from the Battle Fury is starting to pay off. Still curious to see what that Ring of Regen <laughs> ends up being, but other than that, I mean, Ace now tops the net worth chart for the first very well oh, done. Gapsaw, does he want to jump this mid? He's got Echo Slam available, and Miracle's got a full creep wave there. I think if Lena was a little bit closer, he probably would have done it, but they're walking underneath the Observer and Sentry of Team Liquid. So mid one, that you can grab that regeneration route on the way out, but Team Liquid can't close the distance fast enough. So many illusions, or maybe they can. They're looking for the target. There's a Blink Dagger song of the Siren, but GH just doesn't have the distance to do both. Fine. Shadow Fiend does not want to play this game against Airblade. Yep. They want to end this now, right? Collection is getting so obnoxious, and that's why the Roshan was so big, because Secret, by grabbing that, they make it even more awkward. But how do, how do you force this? Like, you, you're still going up against a BKB Aegis Terra Blade. You need a pick off. GH. And maybe they found one. Puppy caught a little bit further out. Life Tracker Ray tries to create some space. Oh, oh he goes down! It. Miracle just got. That. Yeah. That. <laughs> That's what we were talking about with the Dagon. That's why I'm so okay with it, because Mirko, he doesn't want to be in a position where he BKBs there. But he oh. get instantly bursted as a result, and now you're put into these do-or-die situations as Liquid that you no longer want to be in, and for the first time in what feels like forever secret, they have climbed that mountain. What's, what's that thing we do every single day, the quick death stuff? Like, yeah, that's, yeah. that's... Play like, fast. Yeah, yeah you, you want play, play fast, play dead. Um, he was dead so quickly. That is why you get Dagon, yep. especially on Pugna, because... It's, it's, it's the level 2 Dagon. I just love he's going into a BKB directly after it. Safe, and I like yep. that. Don't throw away your lead, because you definitely have a lead now. If you look at the map... You just oh, started top lane, Echo Slam, Yapsaw! He combined with Fada, Decrepify it up, got the instant blast, and then just... Dagon Echo Slam, so Razor is down, they could force his buyback, this would be so crippling Another for a thing. guy who's already behind, yep, Yule Scepter up, it's a nice ice path from Kuro, and the 4 staff available, but Mind Control still on the run, but Ace, hot on his tail, they want more damage, they don't have it for him, instead they're attacking the tier 3 tower, no Rax advantage will come from this, they may consider a backup, I think you go for it, or is it just to force the buyback on the Razor, is is this like, you get that, you back out, Metamorphosis, nice nah, burn from Ace. They want to push this, they still have the AUC Mortal for a little bit longer. This is a good tower for them to take Miracle, gonna deny it up, understands the position that they're Fish in, there's a jump, or is it? Yapsaw, he doesn't do it. He holds it for now, the Ice Pass over on three. You already had Terrorblade swap his life with Mind Control, so Sunder being used, and it looks like for now, Razor is gonna respawn shortly. So Team Secret, they will back up, mid one's very low on life. The BKB has only just come out in the Courier. And this time around, the creeps come in clutch for Secret as they take a tier 2 tower at bottom. Deja Vu is lost again. Last game. Come around. Work. Some break down to go against Miracle and Ace. Kills and assists, obviously Miracle being a lot more involved, but this is the sacrifice that Team Secret they had to make. You buy as much space for Ace as possible. You let that Battle Fury do the work. Like the Aegis Immortal will now burn out. His next primary item is going to be the Scardi, and he's becoming very difficult to kill. Finally, did. <laughs> I really I, wanted. I, I feel like part of him is just lost now. Yeah, that, that it's it's like it's for... like the value mango, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing about Dota is, like, you buy items like that, you have, like, Buyer's Remorse, but you don't really want to part with it quite yet. Butterfly now. Shadow Fiend. Collection even better. Almost a full Scotty. Terribly. They're gonna make it up, though. Liquid. Now yeah, there's 6k gold behind. This Smoked swing. Up. It's such a dip as well. They were 6k in front, now they're 6k behind. They haven't been in front of an experience for a very long time. Even though it looked like the driver's seat. Secret's game plan. High ground. Let Ace farm out the map. Eventually play that Tinker role where he'll shove in the wave. They did a very good job at bottom lane holding 4 on 5. He never even had to come back. And that's the kind of position that you want to put your Terra Blade in. Where you create space for him. Now he's very dangerous. The Shadow Fiend does not want to play head to head. This has to be next Roshan. Got 1 minute and 38 seconds before he may respawn. 
Tikra push out the bottom. Mass four staffs, I believe, are also coming out. Here's one for Lina. Yapsaw already has one of his own. He's actually going to go Shadow Blade. Nice way to initiate in. But Liquid, you still have a very deadly combo, Toby. Oh, yeah. You get that song on the side, like... We talked about how good Jakiro is going to be against Terror Blade. Like, it's hard for Liquid to push high ground. It's still hard for Secret to get the advantage of these. Unless Liquid push up into their high ground. Because that seemed to be the easiest thing, right? Like, someone from Liquid just edged a little bit too close to get the initiation off. And actually, what is their initiation? It's, it's Song of the Siren, right? Or it's Ice Path? It's Song of the Siren. Radiance bottom shrine Ice Path. Then you try to blow somebody up. That's See, still this, a really good this combination. Seems, this seems a lot harder than just, hey, Batrider, jump in, get a lasso. Oh, for sure. It's going to be really complicated. Timing has to be pretty much frame perfect. That's a 10 second DKB on the teeth. Good news for Liquid is they still have pretty strong BKB. Invisibility. Starting to watch this timer even closely on Roshan. We need like a big clock. Like, Pimp, we just put a big clock on the side for a Roshan. The next move for Liquid. Yeah, it is. Giant Flave of Flave style clock. Do you have like Roshan where his arms actually do mm. for you? Is, he, is, Ara, is his arms bigger than that? He's like a little T-Rex, right? No, no, he's got, he's got big enough. No, 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 no. Don't, it's uh, it's uh, enough. Oh, oh, oh that fear shot, that's huge. Oh, the echo and slam, but Tubum is down. No buyback. Big, big moment now. 70 seconds, they can do damage to the lane. Roshan will spawn in two minutes. But now Team Secret know they have an opportunity. It was the Sheba's buyout. What cost the money. And he's short by 500 gold. He sees Invis, they have oh, no sentry for him. Another perfect stun onto MC, but Song right, of the Siren. Combo. Wind it up, wind it up, and dish it out. Miracle with everything. They explode the ES. Mind Control has to be forced up forward away from the drain. Miracle's got himself a double kill. Ace can still stand up on the high ground, but he has to help out. Mind Control will fall. Three heroes down. GH is in the back lines. Miracle, the big man's still alive. BKB's been burnt from all sides, so no immunity protection on this front. But what do you do now? Do you just let the mid racks fall? Miracle's thinking about coming in around the back. Puppy is there, but they've taken the mid racks. Rotation towards the top. No buybacks, no reinforcements for Team Liquid. They fortify to buy some time. A little too close. Yule Scepter up. GH goes for the instant, interrupting mid one, but Miracle, a huge kill. He'll have to buy back if they have any intention of holding this top lane. GH on the run. Can't really run that fast, however. Up to the hill, inside a fog of war. But Tom and back is up. He'll go for Poppy. Poppy is dropping quickly. Mid one as well. BKB will protect him in a line to run away. Terrorblade, not so lucky, or maybe lucky. He actually comes in for the Sunder. Miracle so low, but Matumaman still holding the torch. Look for the Team Liquid flight. Olympians. Ace will finally go down. Kuro TP's out. Needs hit the ice path. He'll get it over on mid one. Miracle on no life. Comes in for the race kill. 130 HP boldly going where an SF has gone before. Team Secret. They still claim one and a half lanes of rack. So definite victory for them. Huge damage done. A lot of buybacks expended from Liquid. That combo looked like it was going to do so much, but Pugna just pops the BKB after the Requiem of Souls. It's only Yapsor that goes down to their kill combo. They're coming to kill again. They are smoked up. They want to fight even with their Terrorblade down. If they can get Radiance kill on the Shadow Fiend, that could just be the game right there. They've got Echo Slam available too. They're looking for it as mid one. Yep. Look at the Radiant scanning. They're looking for anyone that's, that's near them. They don't see anyone Look defending, at this at and they're going to find them. Miracles coming out. The smoke's gonna wear off in about five seconds time, but the this may be him. enough. This oh, would be he's such a sick timing. The creep wave, miracle. Yabsor jumps in. Echo slam is down. Oh, he, he uses it on Yabsor. The BKB's there. Yabsor. Oh no! Miracle's no, gonna you. stand his ground and fight. Mistakes were made. Butter is bail, bail, bail. Butter. Oh balls! You could not afford to do that. Can we see that again in very slow motion, Mr. Replay Production Value? It's a nice thought. But Yapsor didn't need that from you. Let's see it again. It's quick. It's fast. So he starts it up. You can see him waiting for the Echo Slam. He wanted the Creep Wave there, but he drained into Yapsor. Didn't drain out of Miracle. And the BKB protects him and allows him to fight off. That would have been so huge for Secret. Potentially may cost him game two.
Now they look towards Roshan. Puppy at least denies the DD rune. The Roshan won't be quick. But then again, I don't think they realize they picked the up mid up. one inside of this. So the wind up is there with the media hammer. Mid one, he'll get the stun off. BKB's being burnt. Partner, it's them in the tree line. Oh, it's it's like all gone from bad to worse to absolutely horrendous. And now Fada has to buy back and all off of that oh. one mistake. That would have been that was such a clutch move from Secret. That smoke down, they avoid they avoid the ward. They know that Miracle is gonna be the one sent down to clear that wave. And just that one misclick suddenly turns you into a position where now it's secret that we're forced to buy back heroes and Roshan being hit by Liquid. This buyback has to be worth it. GH's illusions are scouting out. Roshan so low. Yapsaw, do you do this? Forced up and Blink Dagger available. Roshan, he's down. There's no jump in. Aegis Immortals in the hands of Miracle. Oh, they They're looking for up. a target. they found Ace. He'll stand his ground and fight. BKB's available. Mind control the meter right down. Next. Mid one as well as Farda from the high ground. But they've lost their big one. They've lost their TB. They've lost the die back on Farda. And now what else have you got? Lina rooted up. He absor! In he comes! A big dunk! They'll bring back the balance in power of Te Team Secret. Oh wait, you've got the Immortal Miracle. He stands his ground. Ace is here to fight him. The reflection is up. Miracle, he's like pain. He'll end up dying. The Fisher flies forward. They're looking for the target, but GH was able to blink himself away to safety. SF is down for two minutes now. Team Secret, a window has been reopened for them. What is going on right now? Ace also had a buyback for this, and Razor has the double ult if he needs it. He has a refresher orb. Or shard, I should say. Yep. Not too useful on the him. mid one. It, you see, he wants to go for the kill. Yeah, they want to end the game right now. Secret. Or yep. else they'd be put in a position where now their TB, if he gets caught once, the game is over for them. Thanks to that observe for what they planted down previously. They know that mid one just went invis, so they'll play defensive. Back towards their tier four towers. Liquid will lose that top lane of Raxing and Snare. Currently. Only out on the TB, 76 seconds until the SF is alive. It seems like an eternity for Team Liquid. Don't believe the pips at the top of the board. There's currently Team Liquid who are one game up and they found an opportunity. This GH with the ice path from Kuro buys the time, buys the space for everyone to go Jigglypuff. They're just gonna sleep themselves out. GH controlling Yamps are on the back, but he blinks so quickly. He avoids the media hammer, able to get the fissure stun. GH has gone AWOL a long, long way east. The defense is still on. 47 seconds, counting down to SF8. Starts the retreat. A lot of Careful damage. of mind control. These impest and pedis. They do so much work. They're holding the line. The Macropire is down, but the Tier 4 Towers are under siege. And back in the mid lane, they found GH. He'll buy back instantly. 30 seconds until the SF. Remember, he won't come back up with full souls and mind control. Oh, he got stunned up by the Lina. Where's the follow up? It really isn't there yet. They still just want the tower. They want the Megas. Team Secret, they're committing in half of this. Ace, the Fissure is perfect. The Echo Slam follow up. A do nothing yet. So just did something fantastic. He's opened up the fight as now Razor is down for 100 seconds. SF is up in 10 seconds time, but this may be too late. Without the tankiness, without the frontlining Razor, Team Secret, they are backing up for the moment. They will not force the issue. They have got Megas up. And they all wait for a better opportunity. Can't believe Liquid. The game isn't just over yet. GH ran them in circles for as long as he possibly could. Trying to make time for Miracle's Puppy return, but Puppy is the ensnare flies forward. Miracle needs this. He wants to have the souls. The lift only will do very little, but here comes Team Secret back into the front lines. Ace gets the metamorphosis up, and Miracle double kill for him. Looks for Yamsor, a triple kill in for the SF, but he's got no buyback. It'll still work, however. Ensnare, they're just trying to control the terribly. Keep him in one position, let my control do the work. The life is too good. Stunned it back again for Ace, so he can send his ground and fight. Father trying to protect it, but now he'll break free into the decrepit by his own teammate. They're draining out the correct target. The Enchantress going down a little bit lower. The Ensnare will cancel that one off, but Ace is just way too big. The four-star buff, the Liquid call it. GG indeed. We're going to a third game. That game was so back and forth. The Team Secret come out on top and all the series 1-1. One, one. You see Fodder with that relief. That bottom play does not cost them dearly. That sort of back and forth. Secret, they hold for so long, they did a very good job of understanding the type of game that they needed to play to win. They knew that the matchup was still in favor, and you see Miracle pop a smile. He doesn't even look too upset. <laughs> like, yeah, well that, well, that happened. Yeah, that it, happened. It was, that's still gonna be a fun game going back and forth for, for all the players, but man, 
I give, I give my money to Yapsora on, on that game. Like, the ES first pickup, you can understand why they do it. They had a, they had a, a, a support hero that rotated around the early Arcane boots, actually did something Toby, great. Toby, I told you to trust me. I, I said, trusted you, Blake. This TB will beat the Shadow Fiend. It was looking bad for a little, but I was confident. We wrote, we did it. <laughs>